Hey guys, what's up? By uh, Sectron here from One Hive Gazette. Here with the next video, and this one's gonna be on a relatively small uh, topic, uh, pretty specific uh, for Town Hall nines mainly. You can apply it to Town Hall ten probably, but it works especially well with some of the low level uh, point defense. I mean, still maxed out, but. Town Hall 9 has much lower level uh, point defense than Town Hall 10 because you have the two extra uh, levels for Archer Towers and Cannons. Uh, so it's more of a Town Hall 9 thing, but uh, you're free to use it as you want. Before I get into the action, I have, I think, three attacks to show to you guys today uh, demonstrating this concept. I just want to say a few things. First of all, for everything you've been hearing about Genesis lately, um, there's a lot of stuff going out, uh, a lot of chaos, and just I want you guys to know that you're going to continue to see high-level war content on the channel. Um, I'm currently talking, you know, with uh, Genesis, and we're figuring things out. Um, I'll come out with more announcements, uh, with more specifics this weekend. I just don't have the time uh, right now to address, you know, everything that's going on. I'll make one video once everything kind of washes over. Um, I want to talk about that uh, in detail when I know kind of all the information as far as what's happening. But nothing to worry about, guys. We have it under control. I have it under control on my end, uh, especially with the YouTube channel. So, uh, that being said, as I'm recording attacks for the attack meta video, which has been delayed because of this, uh, all this stuff going on, uh, I want to show a video more specific on Town Hall 9, as I was talking about at the beginning of this video. And basically, because you have the level 6 wizards at Town Hall 9, it opens up some more possibilities. Sometimes you guys see these kind of boxish bases where they're kind of like a rectangle or a square, relatively spread out. You might not know where to enter from. Uh, the stoned hobo is uh, you know, always a good strategy at Town Hall 9 at this point in the game. And you might be confused as to where to enter these bases. But taking a look, um, I'll just talk through it as it happens. Um, one of the, the new strategies we're seeing is you can kind of spread your golems out very far if there's some point defense that's, you know, within one tile of the wall and let your wizards take them out and have your golems reroute into the middle of the base. This is a great way of taking out point defense that would otherwise be flanking your kill squad, possibly targeting your queen and your bowlers. So it really makes a runway for your golems to go down. So it's a much more uh, direct path for your kill squad. Uh, you can see basically he drops down the golems, then just kind of hesitates, lets those wizards uh, take out the trash, then uh, get closer, take out the cannons, the archer towers, all that stuff. Uh, the golems will take quite a bit of damage, but you don't need all three of those golems to be that um, that full of hit points when once they enter the base, especially because it's just kind of straight ahead. The expos, the Teslas, there's no damage from the side, and the king can also help tank as well. The important thing is that the pathing works out, which it does because he uh, allowed the funnel to be created on the second layer of buildings because of those wizards, and... That, uh, like I said, the funneling, and also uh, there's no point defense flanking, taking out the bowlers. Uh, the golems have plenty of hit points. Usually, as long as they're in front, there's going to be something left of them, even if they were sitting on the walls for a little while uh, during the attack at the beginning. So he did a good job getting to the middle of this base with the jump spell, then a few hogs to flank. Uh, we'll take a look at a few more examples, uh, because this is something that I've seen consistently the last war or two, and the level 6 wizards definitely help it. Not only level 6 wizards, but level 6 buffed wizards. They're even better, I think, than the old Town Hall 10 wizards uh, before the update. So these things are really worth using, and uh, they can get you some good value. So sorry about that notification. Uh, let's go ahead and take a look at the next attack. As soon as this one wraps up, just has a few uh, buildings in the middle of the base there. Okay, nice attack to, that's Ali, Ali, uh, either way. Next attack is by... Paul, uh, very similar. This base, once again, kind of that box. That's what you want to look for, a rectangle-ish type base. And uh, you can come at like the one of these sides here. Start off with, uh, I guess he uses a baby dragon and a wizard just to make sure the funnel's set uh, for his wizards because he doesn't want them to have to target too many buildings before they step up and actually take out uh, the important ones. Goes ahead and drops down the golem and the queen. The queen is also another good tool beyond the wizards that you can use because uh, she does more damage. And as long as the funnel's created, which he created the funnel there, uh, she's not going to walk. She should go the way you want her to go. But you have to be more careful because she's way more important than a wizard. 
The wizards, sure, they can walk. Like, these wizards, they'll walk somewhere random after they take out the buildings. That's fine. You want to make sure you funnel the queen. So even if she takes out part of the funnel, she goes the right way and enters the base with the kill squad. But as I talked about, um, he did kind of the method on the right side here at 3 o'clock by dropping down a golem, then, uh, you know, four or five wizards. It's worth the troop space investment. And uh, the wizards, they do quite a bit of damage in big groups, and they can get to those defenses pretty quickly. Your golems shouldn't be that low health. Sorry about that. Hope we don't have too many notifications. Uh, you know, I have so much going on, uh, and a lot of it's involved in notifications, just in group chats and stuff. So... Uh, hope that doesn't plague the video too much. But yeah, the gem spell basically connected the top part of the base. There's that moat kind of right around here. Uh, so that's going to kind of separate things up. But luckily, there's not too many giant bomb locations. He's able to drop down that heal for his hogs. Now, he is going to run into a few issues because the queen goes down. And I think there's a giant bomb next to that last wizard tower. So that splash damage will take out his hogs. And uh, it'll be up to just the king and the bowlers. But he did such a good job with the kill squad that he has plenty of stuff left up. And there's enough time to get the job done. So as we go times four, the wizards will go down uh, to that wizard tower. But the rest of the troops are coming around the mountain. And uh, they'll step up and take out those last few buildings. Another good attack to Paul. Demonstrating the example once again. Um, so many comments these days, to be honest. I do my best to get to them, but uh, it's not as easy as it was, you know, a few months ago, for example. Uh, taking a look at 25, we have uh, Dennis. And once again, 10 wizards. Typically, you're going to be bringing, you know, anywhere from 10 to 14 wizards because you do need a few for cleanup and other stuff usually, not just for this purpose. So it drops down. There's two golems, not quite as spread out maybe as the last few attacks. Uh, there's two easy defenses uh, that, sorry about that, two easy defenses that the golems can target. The wizards step up. Now they are taking out some trash buildings, which aren't as important, but right there, uh, they take out those defenses. And keep in mind, he drops the jump a little early before the golems go down. That can be okay because the wizards have, you know, a few hit, you know, a few hit points. They can take maybe two, three shots from the cannons, the archer towers. They can survive for a few seconds. So even if the golems do walk out, as long as the wizards are just starting to target those defenses, they should have enough uh, combined damage and hit points to take out those defenses without the golems tanking. So if you're worried your golems are going to get too low on health, you can drop that jump or the wall breakers or whatever to reroute your golems. You can do that a little bit earlier before the defenses are down, and that should... Uh, you know, keep everything moving for sake of time and for sake of hit points uh, of your golems. So yeah, uh, everything worked out pretty nicely here. The jumps, as always, connecting things deeper into the base. The heroes are kind of a nuisance because they're so deep on the other side of the base, but eventually the defensive queen goes down. The king is still up, but oftentimes on these attacks, what we see is that all the hogs go down. We saw that on the last attack too. Now he actually has three hogs in the bag, which uh, I just noticed, but even still, that's not that many, but typically you're going to have your heroes left up, especially the queen, because of all the tanks she has in front of her. Um, some bowlers typically peel off, like that one up there, that can help with cleanup. So if you're lucky, you'll have some stuff left up to help out beyond the hogs. But he does have three hogs, like I said. That cannon's locked onto the golem, so they'll make their way down to that final Tesla, I believe that's the last defense. Take it out, uh, just barely, and then from there, there's only a few buildings uh, they are high HP, but they're all pretty close together for cleanup. Awesome attack to Dennis wrapping up this video uh, with that nice three star. So yeah, that's it, guys. Like I said, um, a good strategy to use at Town Hall 9. This base actually wasn't as boxy, but that side was kind of that nice flat thing we look for. Look for a flat wall. Um, sometimes if there's edges and stuff, like maybe on this side of the base, it can get kind of complicated. Look for a uh, just a nice... A place where there's archer towers, there's cannons, other defenses that will lock onto the golems. Wizards can step up. Make sure there's no expos that can like barely reach over the wall that will target the wizards and not the uh, golems or test the locations. Be aware of that. Be or be wary of that because that will kill your wizards and make it not worth it. So keep that in mind. But I hope this helps and maybe you guys can utilize it for those of you Town Hall 9s especially in your next uh, war attacks. Like I said guys, uh, don't worry about the channel. Everything's going to be cool. Uh, we're still working to figure out the uh, specifics in Genesis as far as uh, the war, you know, the war plan going forward. 
and uh, I'll let you guys know everything as soon as I'm crystal clear on what's happening as well. We're still talking about it. A lot of stuff still going on. So thanks for watching this video, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye, Sectatron out.